Hey everyone, if you hadn't already noticed, this part of the video does not have any sound and I am totally oblivious to it. <laughs> Look at her, yapping away, like she knows she's being recorded. All this time, no sound. Poor, poor girl. Isn't she in for a surprise later? Anyway, we're gonna fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward all the way to the part where there is sound. Thank you so much. Bye. Um, yesterday I got a ticket. I had to go to the store to buy medicine and um, I totally forgot about the parking thing. Like, oh my gosh, so when I went out and I started driving out, I was like, what's that thing like drifting in my windshield? And I saw this thing and it's a parking ticket. I've never had a parking ticket before. And it's so expensive. It's so expensive. Lesson learned, always pay your parking meter. I don't know what to wear to Ed Sheeran's concert. I wanted to wear this shirt, but I already wore it for sleeping, so I can't wear it for the concert. So I'm gonna have to wear something else, but I really wanna be super comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna clean my living room. Oh my God, I'm so sick. Oh. I've been sneezing for like the past minute, like nonstop. Of course, handy dandy Vicks. This is like the Philippines' number one medication for every single thing. <laughs> Grew up with Vicks, so <clears throat> so glad it's in Canada. Okay, we're gonna clean the the living room. Um, so this TV we got during Prime Day. It's like a Fire TV, pretty good quality, and it's Amazon, and it was like seven hundred bucks. Like. Come on, what? I love watching Family Guy. I just, that's like my like everyday lazy show, you know? I love cartoons. Yeah, so while I clean my living room, we're gonna watch it. Speed! I love this, this is, um, little car vacuum but it's so full see so it's not sucking very well so I'm gonna have to clean it we're ready for business done with the couch it's got this thing where you can just flip it up and flip it down and it's also got this thing where you can stretch it to get to those hard to reach places and then just set it back in let's buy black and decker I'll try to link it down below So it's time for the big gun. It's really affordable, it's like $100 or something and they have great customer service. We had our head break and we just emailed them and they sent us over a new piece. I like it, especially if you want a Dyson. Dyson is like really expensive, it's like 10 times more expensive than this. So if you're looking for an alternative to the Dyson, I will link this down below and I did get this during the Amazon sale. So we're gonna be vacuuming the carpet right now. So I actually want to show you how it picks up Biscuit's fur, my cat. I am sweating like a pea. Like, I'm not even, like, I'm not supposed to be wearing these pants, but, you know, I can't be not wearing pants on the internet. Okay, so the gimbal just like, it went like wee, and then it went like I just wanted to show you real quick, I bought this at, it's like an outlet mall in Richmond, in somewhere in Vancouver And it's a fan, these fans got really popular back in the day for makeup Like when you put your setting spray on or whatever and it just dries your makeup on But it actually looks like a fan, but they made one for like a Dyson dupe And it's so cute, I had to get one, I bought one, it's so cute, yay so on with the video. So yeah, um, let me just continue. I'm sweating. Ha. So 
So something I really like is this Lysol fabric disinfectant. So it's for fabric and I don't actually know what is different with this one but I just prefer using it for fabrics and not sponsored, just thought that you might want to know, you know, yeah. So I'm almost done. I do have to end soon because I have to get ready for the Ed Sheeran concert today. So um, yeah, I think I'll just do my last minute stuff and then maybe continue tomorrow or not, you know, before, after, before, after. I think everything's good. Okay, so I'm ready to go to Ed Sheeran's concert and it is already 4.30. So I'm just gonna wear this, basically. This one is making me awesome. Yay! First things first is SPF. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this Superstay 24-hour skin tint by Maybelline. Summer's almost ending. It's actually ended. It's already September 2nd. Sometimes when I want to burp but I don't stop myself, I kind of like... <gasps> and... Also, I have a cat and his fur is everywhere. So I don't want to really go ham with the foundation or with the makeup today because again, I want to be more like carefree. Do you remember, or I don't know if you know, but Ed Sheeran had some comments about social media. If you look at my Instagram, I'm not posting a selfie every day. I post about songs. I'm like promoting stuff. I, whenever I see a selfie, I want to reach out to that person because that is them wanting they're having a shit day and they want people to be like, oh my god, you look amazing. And that'll make them, that'll bring them up. Social media in general has this like sheen of like, life is perfect. And it makes everyone else feel like shit because they're like, well, why isn't my life perfect? But really the person behind the thing posting the perfect life is having a shit day and they want people to be like, oh my god, this is great. And it's it's all smoke and mirrors basically. Next we're gonna set with the e.l.f. Halo Glow powder. I love this powder. It makes me feel like it's it's not matte, but at the same time, it's not glowy. I don't know, it's like, it's such a natural finish that I absolutely love it. So I won't actually be putting a lot of concealer. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Color Corrector in Peach. And I didn't think I would like this, but I actually do. It's very hydrating. I know it's not a concealer, but it looks undetectable. Like, I just, I love this one. And the concealer or the color corrector will be patting down with this Brighten Up powder by Essence. I look like a little schoolboy, I feel like. <laughs> it's cute. I don't mind. Hmm. Next, we'll be doing our brows. I'm using an e.l.f. Uh, Instant Lift Brow Pencil and brush it up. Honestly, I just grabbed the first thing I got. This is the Brow Fast Sculpt by Maybelline. I actually really like this. I'm almost out. The NYX Brow Glue is by far my favorite. I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow using the butter bronzer contour palette just taking that first shade over there putting that all over my crease and that's it i actually have this elf putty bronzer which i really wanted to use for my contour is this in the shade honey drip i like it yeah i feel like it's a more bronzy shade than a contour shade the only thing i don't like about pets is ugh, i feel like there's hair everywhere so I'm just going to use this brown liner because I feel like it's less intense than a black one. I have this Big Mood Mascara from e.l.f. I didn't know I got the brown one. I actually am a little happy I tried a brown mascara because I never do. I do like it. I like the brush. It's huge! You can tell. Can you tell? There's a difference between this lash and that lash, of course, and it's pretty big. Okay, now to just deal with this. Yeah, that's fine. Next, I'm using the Rare Beauty blush. Uh, this is my shade, like my everyday shade. I literally use this almost every day. Oops, I put a little too much, but it's fine. I like blush. And I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat, so I'll just bring this with me, and um, yeah, I'll just fix that, and I'll be done. Yay! Schoolgirl outfit, yay! So I have this thing where I put all my earrings, and these ones are like the playful ones. I'm thinking of using this Dice ones, because they seem to match very well. So I'm gonna keep my hair like tied up just because I know I'm gonna sweat since I'm wearing a sweater. I dug my own grave so I can't really complain. I actually made this scrunchie. I made so many scrunchies. I thought I was gonna make a like a scrunchie business um, but that didn't work out so maybe a story for another time. I hope I remember to say goodbye. If not, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Unless I remember to say goodbye after the concert. Bye! Off to see Ed Sheeran, yay! So we're heading to this secret gate called Gate G. 
because apparently nobody's lining up there because it's all the way at the back of the theater. Yeah, we have seats, but like, there's a lot of people. It's Ed Sheeran. Come on. Note to self next time when there's a concert. I think two hours early. So we have to go through inspection. Um, I'm gonna bag. First things first, we have to buy food because I'm hungry AF. So. I dropped my popcorn, I dropped my water, but I'm here. And after a while, people started coming to concerts that I was putting on myself. And then after a while, this song became a hit in the United Kingdom. And then it became a hit across Europe. And then it became a hit in Australia and New Zealand and Asia and South America. And then there was a conversation about coming to the United States and, and Canada. And, uh, you know, as a landmass, I mean, Canada is huge. It's huge. If you look at the UK, the UK is like this big, Canada's like this big. So if you think you can make a hit single in this place, and then you look at a place that's this big like Canada is, I thought it would be a tall order. And uh, anyway, I came over here uh, with a band called Snow Patrol. I was opening up with Snow Patrol. And uh, I quickly realized that people here like the song too. And then I kept coming back to Canada. I've, I've, I've been lucky enough to do like an extensive tour across Canada, not just Toronto and not just Vancouver, but I've got to visit all the bits in the middle. And I'm so lucky. I just want to say I don't take it for granted. I don't take it for granted. And the reason I'm saying this today is before I came out on stage, I met, I met the people that run the stadium. 
and they said in the 40 year history of this stadium being built, this is the most people that they've ever had in the building at one time. a hoodie so I'm happy and now we're bailing early because 65,000 people like that's the biggest it's ever mm -hmm. been here so we are leaving before we get like trampled in the crowd oh, it was great though yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm not supposed to scream or anything but I did anyway I need water we're going home now <sighs> we love you Ed Sheeran oh, yes we do you're the best I've given you my voice yeah Okay. okay, I'll see you at home. Bye. We are just back from the concert and it is 11 12. And whew, oh my gosh, I got some merch. Ed Sheeran's concert today is his mathematics concert. It was the day where we had the most number of people in BC Place at a time. It was 65,000 people. So we were able to get some merch and I'm so happy. I, I love the stuff we bought. But they're so pricey, sorry. They are so freaking pricey. Like, I honestly think I can make these things myself. But I think it's also like the, it's the nostalgia of it. Because whenever I wear this, I'll remember my amazing time at Ed Sheeran's mathematics concert. So, the first one I got was this hoodie. And there's only one size, it's all large. It says tour, and then it has the mathematics symbols. Yeah, and it's so cute, I love this one. Super simple, and I, I love this one. And I really, really, really wanted a t-shirt as well. So this one was my favorite. It says, it's actually pretty big, but I love the baggy look. And the world tour details at the back. And oh, I'm so happy about this. This was $60, $60 for a t-shirt. I mean, it's not even $50 like the song says, it's $60, so, whew. And this one was even more expensive. This was $110, okay, doll hairs. Oh my gosh, I am, um, I'm gonna be sweating it. You know what, my sister was very, very smart when she compared it to buying from Zara though. The last thing I bought from Zara was a dress and it was like $60, $70. And cost per wear, for these versus that one dress from Zara is so much more like it's it's so much better. So that one kind of justified the purchase. Also, we went to the Elton John concert. We weren't able to get merch on there. We went to Love as well. We also weren't able to get merch. So yeah, it was fun. Um, and my makeup really held on pretty well. I'm 
sweaty because I was running and I'm not like super oily but I am sweaty my lashes are really looking good like whew. thank you so much for coming with me it was amazing at first I thought he was overrated not gonna lie but when I went to his concert I realized he is yes okay thank you so much for watching my video I hope you enjoyed please don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see next also hit that notification bell to be informed when I upload I am a small content creator and I do appreciate you supporting me in this platform thank you so much and my buhai